a Hikmat life. Uh, I hope you're well. Uh, today I've got a fun video planned and I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribed to our channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some of mine and Noah's favourite books. Um, so I've got a bunch of books here. Noah loves reading. He loves books. He could read three or four a night and sometimes he just wants a book day where we just read books all day. He absolutely loves books. Um, we have a lot and then we also go to the library to get some other rotations. These are ones that we own and that either we've bought or gifted to us and that I just find extra special or really love or ones that Noah really enjoys reading as well. Um, so they're for all different ages of kids but I thought you guys might want to check it out. Okay, so first up I've got this book called The Seasons. It's really, really cute. My first animated board book. Um, so it's got little pop-up things where the sun comes up. Um, so I really like this because at this age of Noah, like we're learning about seasons. So it's got little fun things. So, um, you know, the flowers are blooming in spring and then you can rotate so it's really cute. It's got lots of things that they can find. Um, really bright and colourful. Uh, pretty interactive as well. And it just teaches them to know about uh, the different weathers and seasons and what sort of activities you do in those. So I'll try to link everything down below. Um, but yeah, this is our first book. I really love this one. Uh, another one that is super, super cute is called little orangutan lost in paris this is a really cute book um i love paris it's always been a dream of mine to go there um so and we love monkeys in our family so yeah that's super cute um so it's about a little orangutan that finds his way on an adventure in paris and sees all these cool things and then realizes he really misses his family and his mum comes to find him and bring him home. So it's a really, really cute book. There's lots of things to see and tells you about some of the things that they have in Paris. So yeah, that was really cute. I really love that one. I found this recently when we went to um, the Cranbourne Botanical Gardens in their little gift shop. It's called Little Helpers and it is from the brand Green Start. So automatically you can see it's kind of a different fabric. So it is actually like a environmentally friendly book. So it's made from 98% recycled materials. Um, so it's printed on post customer set recycled materials using only eco-friendly inks. Uh, and it's a book about the environment, little helpers and what you can do to help recycle or you can see people are picking up rubbish in the park there, uh, riding their bikes instead of cars, uh, picking up rubbish at the beach. So it's really cute just to make them aware that there are things that they can do. I think the younger you sort of instill this into them that it's going to um, benefit the way they behave and the way they do treat the world. Um, so yeah, I really found that one to be a really cute one. I love that it's recycled and Noah really likes reading it. At the back there is also a little parent's guide to um, living green, growing green and playing green. So some activities and stuff you can do that are environmentally friendly. So I thought that was a really cute little book. Uh, this one is one Noah's had since he was a baby. It has a sticker on it with his name because He's had it when he went to daycare and stuff like that. Um, so it's called My First Alphabet. I, Noah still is learning alphabets like he can say it all and he's starting to recognise letters. So this book, even though we've had it since he was a baby, um, it has lasted his whole four years and it's really, really cute. It's got great, um, like really simple A is for apple and B is for ball and there's a couple of touch and feel pages in there. Um, so... It's really, really cute. Um, they've got stuff like F, F is for friends, um, home. So yeah, it's got super cute illustrations, really bright and easy to read. Lots of things for them to touch. And then at the back, it's got like the whole alphabet. So he's still using this. We still like it a lot, get him to recognize letters. So this is another favorite of ours. This book was my favourite book when I was a little girl. My mum used to read this to me. It is Koala Lou. Um, 
if you don't know it, it's a really cute book about a baby koala who, or a little kid koala who loves, just wants to impress her mum. And her mum always says to her, Koala Lou, I do love you. And, um, yeah, she gets other siblings and feels like that she's not as loved and she just wants to make her mum really happy. And this is a really cute book. So I used to read this to, sorry, mum used to read this to me all the time as a little girl and now I'm reading it to Noah. So I think I like this one a little more than him, uh, but it is still a really good book. She competes in like a bush Olympics and doesn't win. So it teaches you about like there's lots of little lessons so like about not winning and still being proud of your kids and making sure you say I love you so um yeah I love this book this is a newer one to us it was gifted I think from my auntie so it's called Harry the Dirty Dog it is really cute um so it's a little white dog that ends up getting so dirty that he turns into a black dog with white spots and it's really really cute so he goes on an adventure getting really dirty around the town and he goes home and his family don't recognize him because he's a different color and then when they bath him he turns back to harry and it's just a really really cute book no he likes it it's pretty funny that he gets dirty all over town so Noah really really loves this book um okay next up i've got so many okay so um this one here is called let's be pirates this is noah's favorite like it is ripped like he loves this book it's kind of like a pop-up book and it goes on a treasure hunt it's really really cute um i've read it about two thousand times so i find it a little less cute and there's a little boy in here called noah so he thinks it's him but you get like a letter from a captain asking you to do a mission and find the treasure you got to find hints along the way um you get a treasure map and then there's a pop-up boat which i'm surprised is still intact he kind of looks after his things which is awesome um so there's a little boat there's little flaps i can't see and things to do there's clues along the way so he really loves this book it's a good adventure book um and is very imaginative so yeah we really like that book as well that is his absolutely favorite book he wants to read it almost every night uh next is my absolute favorite book this is such a sweet book it's called in my heart a book of feelings um so not only is it super cute but it's super relevant for toddlers and um teaching them all about their feelings and what it feels like on the inside when you feel those feelings and helping them to identify so sometimes we'll ask him are you feeling like mad are you feeling so yeah you get explains that there is all different kinds of feelings and each color is a different feeling and then the end of the book makes you go through and pick how you're feeling so there's happy brave there's like shy mad hurt there's lots of cute ones this one's sad so i'll just explain so some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant there's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain this is when my heart is sad so it explains what it feels like like heavy and dark and um yeah and then in the end it makes you says how do you feel today so then we always go through the book and pick how we feel uh no always feels the same <laughs> he always feels silly <laughs> so yeah this is a really cute one to help them identify uh feelings and emotions so i love this book um I've got one little book left. It is a Christmas book, but we are heading into Christmas almost. Um, so it's called Rory the Dinosaur Needs a Christmas Tree. This is a cute book. I love Christmas. Like, I'm obsessed with Christmas. Thankfully, Noah has inherited my trait. He is loving Christmas. It's already listening to carols. Every time he's in the car, he asks me to put on Christmas songs. He is very excited. So... This is a really cute book. Rory is this little boy and he doesn't have a Christmas tree. Um, and he goes around his island trying to find a Christmas tree. And they sort of see all different types of trees that, you know, aren't really good enough to be. Or aren't really 
right to be a Christmas tree and so they go home and he's feeling really sad but then he has tea with his friends and he feels a lot better and then in the morning when he wakes up his dad the dinosaur dresses up as a little Christmas tree um, I think it's just a really sweet thing to say like it's not always about the pe presents and it's all about the spirit of Christmas and family and friends so that is also one of our favorites we read it all throughout the year not just at Christmas time but we'll definitely have it pulled out for December so there's some of our favorite books right now um, we do rotate a lot but they're the ones we've been enjoying at the moment uh, I'd love to know any other books that you might love um, so definitely comment down below and let me know what your kids are reading or what books are some of your favorites and I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching guys bye